Nana used to say each day she is born, we call her Dawn. Daughter of yesterday, mother of tomorrow. This game is, uh, The Stillness of the Wind is a, uh, it's a, an extremely artistic, uh, experience where we play as Nana Talma, who is uh, an old, uh, uh, farm lady. Uh, she runs her little goat farm in the middle of nowhere. Uh, all of her family have gone off to the big city, uh, and, and nobody really lives around here anymore. But, uh, Nanatalma keeps doing her day by day, uh, handling her life. Um, but, slowly, we start to hear strange things are happening, uh, in the rest of the world. While we are kind of, you know, living our little day-to-day -day life. Look at this beautiful little, little farm. Oh, it's so cute, dude. Why do I feel like this is going to make me cry? Uh, I am kind of right in that same boat, my friend. Okay, so it's a point and click. Talma grew up on this farm. Hello, Talma. I got a little stick. There's another stick. Oh. Through a time when 16 shoes waited by the door every morning. One by one, everyone left for the city or across the sea. Oh, okay, let's plant some gourds. Eli, how do you find such beautiful games? That's a great question. I do not know. Now she greets the day alone. With two goats, a pocket full of seeds, and the sunlight in her boots. Needs water. Okay, Nana. Let's go find some water. Hello, chicken. Hello, little chicken. I have a shotgun. <laughs> cool, I have a shotgun. Let's go inside here. Uh, okay, so I've got myself kind of a little bakery. Hmm, these five cheeses won't last forever. Some hay for the goats, not much else. Mending this churn house, the shelving, ventilation, space, was the last thing Sola did before she deserted the farm, leaving Rama behind. Oh. Where do I get my water? So I've got a little, little goat shed over here. Thank you, thank you so much for the hydrate. So we went from a game that was very uh, loud and exciting to the complete opposite. And I apologize for the whip for the whiplash. Um, but also, I couldn't help myself. This game is so pretty and so gentle and sweet. And uh, so I don't I didn't have a choice and I will not apologize for that. One summer with a few oh, one summer with few hairs on his chin, Garza rebuilt this goat house, the next in a long line of Yumas reaching through time. Hello, goat. I will take your milk. She's whistling. Oh, and look, you can see Time passing very slowly. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh, look at this goat. It's got, like, clothes on. Oh, it's so cute, dude. It's so cute. Yeah, I'm assuming I'm going to use the goat milk to make some cheese. Oh, 
All right, Nana. Fucking stir that shit. Oh my god. <laughs> what the hell? Honestly, loud chaos to sudden soothing quiet is kind of on brand for you. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. I'm glad that uh, I have a brand, I guess. That's kind of cool. All right, well, let's go ahead and do that thing where we get some get some some cheese going. Um I don't know exactly how uh cheese making works, so I am sorry Nana if I fuck something up. I am not the smartest man. Also, where is my water source? Is that in my house, perhaps? Oh, it can't be in my house, because as soon as I tried to go in there, I dropped the bucket. Wait, can I go outside? Oh, I can go outside the farm. Ooh. Where is my well? Oh. Oh. Oh, Luna. Well, I'm sad already. How's everybody else doing? This journeyman's foil looks like it's just about ready to go in the basket. Okay, so there's some plants to gather by the... by the grave. <clears throat> Uh, I have had goat cheese before. Um, there's a lot of goat cheese in Greece because there aren't too many cows in Greece. Also, this power line is down. So I'm just kind of fucking dealing with it. What's this about? On the last night we all lived under one roof, we carved T-E-G on this old lime tree, daring tomorrow never to come. I have uh, a lot of feelings, dude. Also, again, Nana, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm not the smart. So, I'm going to lead you on a wild goat chase. Wait, this fucking goat got out. That's not going to be a problem, is it? Watch that be a problem. No, no, if you could... Okay, here's my well. Oh, there's some plants to gather as well. Oh, is this the, uh, the thing I need to get water? Do I have a separate water bucket? I have a separate water bucket from... <laughs> my goat milk bucket. <laughs> okay. A rocket ship soars... Oh no, I want to see what this says. A rocket ship soars between great stars carved on this fence by a six-year-old Rama missing her mother. Oh, I know, Nana, I'm sorry. I know. Don't worry, we're just gonna water some crops and then be happy with life. Does that use all of the water? Or is there any left? Okay, cool. There is some left. Alright, Nana. Let's go inside. I'm not gonna make you work into the night like a psychopath. Oh, so the electricity is working. Okay. Nana Talma, I finally made it. I'm in my camp... I'm in my cap and gown sitting here in the empty theater an hour too early, trying to hold myself together, but every minute that the ceremony comes closer, my chest swells with a hundred new butterflies. Everything finally feels real. Tonight I graduate from the academy, and soon I'll say goodbye to this planet and ship off to the colonies on Luna. Oh. So there's space travel. You've always been there for me, Nana. Reading to me every night when I was little, even now a volume of Wormgall and Laika stays by my bed. Taking me to winter stargazing fairs and gypsy carnivals in summer. You raised me to know the horizon hides the wonders of the world, so I've always rushed forward. People say I take after you like that. You're the best, Nana. I'm still amazed at how you keep the farm running so well on your own. I have so much to learn. I'll come see you again soon, I promise. With a million hugs. 
Rama. Oh my god. Friemo. Friemo by Soleda Lebeth. To meet someone from Friemo is to learn that an open window is always better than a closed one. Everywhere there are ears. They listen for a word forbidden from utterance, despite the city's reputation as the half-city of twins. For to invoke this word is to tear the delicate cocoon constricting the grief of its citizens. Long ago, to war against a fatal sickness that afflicted only twins, the vagrant magi planted a branch of their ancestral tree in this city to peddle a cure called the Father's Gamble, a tincture brewed as one, then split and served in halves. The hand that passes the cups must live with the reality of only one surviving. Thus, what greater mercy could there be than a league of men who do not remember they are fathers? Dude, I'm gonna cry. And now Nana Talma is tired. Let's go to bed, Nana. It's time for bed. Did I mention I was gonna cry? I feel like I mentioned that. Good morning to you, too. I do kind of enjoy that I don't need to use any keys. I'm not a fan of point-and-click adventures generally, but this game is, like, still... It's, it's simplistic enough that the pointing and clicking is not exhausting. Good morning, Nana. Okay, I left my goat milk bucket on accident. Um, do I need to get more water for these plants, or are they good? I think I need to water them again. Sure seems that way. Ah. Everything is so calm and normal. And there's nothing to worry about. There's nothing to worry about. Life is good. Life is good. What do we got going on here? Some cheese. <coughs> don't hurt yourself, Nana. Don't, don't work too hard, okay? Mending this churn. Oh, yeah, I already read that. Uh... Well, you know what? I kind of want to go grab some of those plants. Just to see how things are going. Also, I should check my mailbox, probably. I didn't check that yesterday. What are we looking at, Nana? Anything? Nothing here. Okay, nothing yet. That's okay. There will always be another day. In the meantime, let's go gather some cute little plants. Let's see what we can get out of here. Can I carry more than one? Uh. I can. Do I do something with that? <laughs> or are they just cute little plants? <laughs> That's the new question. Cause I didn't really see anything on the inside, did I? Actually, maybe, maybe if I can bring this inside. And uh, or maybe I plant them out here. Huh? Oh no, I can cook. Uh. Some cheese, I guess? Let's make a tasty little meal for Nana. I'm gonna cry. How was it, Nana? Was it good? Did you like it? Did I mention I want to cry? I don't know if I mentioned that I want to cry. And she comes out with the bucket. So what does having the stick do? Do I just, I can just draw in the ground and be adorable with it. Oh, hello. How you doing, bro? 
pen, though. Oh, he's got, like, a cute little sound. Good afternoon, my dear. How fares the lady of the manor on this snail of a day? I never tire of coming here, Talma. Every care I have simply floats away. We once spent every day out in the deserts. Have you had a walk around recently? I have not. Do you have any mail? You do. Thank you. And trade. Ooh, I can trade for stuff. Oh, I can get some more gourd seeds. Bottle of Dakram. The Sultan of a faraway land trapped this in the bo trapped in this bottle a powerful jinn. Summon it, and you will be granted your deepest desires. What can I give you for that? I wonder. Oh. Oh, 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 there we go. Uh, can I give you, I can sell my chickens and goats and stuff. Can I sell you some cheese, perhaps? Three cheeses. I will sell you that for whatever that was. It was probably a scam. We want, oh yeah. Well, you have a good day. Thank you for the letter. What's the letter, Saitama? Garza Yuma, Editor-in-Chief of the Evening Owl, Salazar Building. Dear Talma, my grandson is born. With ten fingers and ten toes, he entered the world early this morning, two weeks before due. It seems the little summer prince preferred the spring. Elazar, they named him, in a scene that could have been painted from myth. The boy nestled in the arms of his triumphant mother as his father and the rest of the family gathered around, aglow with the light of dawn streaming in through the window. Even now, sitting in my office, I can think only of that magnificent si magnificent sight. I had to come to work directly from the hospital, as my newsroom is quite lost without me. I hope you're well, Talma. Since the bridges collapse, our Laszlo and the Black Cliff Trail have been the only way our letters can reach you. The mayor, meanwhile, abandons the telephone poles to sink into the sand. Unacceptable. Hopefully we can visit the farm again soon. I know of one little boy who would love to meet his great aunt. Your brother, Garza. Oh, he gave us some seeds. Oi. Hey. Oh my god, I am gonna cry. I'm gonna fucking cry. What can I plant here? Cryptids lust seeds. Where did my water bucket go? That is... The eternal question. Did it tell? Oh no, I dropped it over here because I'm a potato. I don't like that I have a shotgun. I mean, I like it. It's comforting. But it's also not comforting in an existential sense. Because it means that something can happen. And if anything happens to Nanatalma... I will find the developer of this game, and I will cry on their shoes. And then they'll just have to live with that. Oh, that goat is ready. Okay. Good to know. Oh, and there's more plants together out here. None as a farmer. Shit needs to get shot. Yeah, I feel it. Actually, hold on. Let me grab my let me grab my milk bucket. I need to get more goat milk so I can make some cheese. Always needs to be more cheese. She needs to eat first. Oh, she needs to eat. Okay. Well, it's a good thing I've got some fucking hay. Oh, how much hay do they need to eat? Do they need to eat a whole bale each day? If that is the case, I'm gonna need to start figuring out my life. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Mix that cheese, Talman. Mix the cheese.
my god. Look at the beautiful lights, dude. Look at the beautiful lights. And tell me that those aren't amazing. Alright, Nana. I don't know how much you need to eat. And I worry. A vase with a layer of dust inside. Oh, I could probably put a flower in there. Okay, Nana, it's time for sleep. Is this story set in the Middle East? I I can imagine, given some of the names like Garza and Talma and uh, Elazar. Oh. This game is very pretty and very soft. Are you eating? I don't know if you're eating or not. I worry that you're not eating. There's hay right here. You know you can eat that, right? <laughs> I can pet the goat. Are you guys still- I just pushed the fucking goat out of the way. Am I- am I able to milk you now? Okay, they're both ready to be milked. I will take your milk. I'm going to live off of cheese. Because I am a woman of the land. Uh, yes, the name of the game is The Stillness of the Wind. <clears throat> Fucking go! Now that, my friends, is how you stir cheese. All right, um, let's go, actually, let me go see how my plants are doing. I don't know if these plants, these plants aren't ready, right? There's no way these are ready. Still growing. Okay, so they do need more water. Well, in that case, while I'm going out to get some water, I might as well bring my basket so I can pick some plants. Because there were a couple of plants over by the, uh, well... Flowers. Some journeyman foil. Wanderer's feast. Ooh. Bungle brought. Curious. Okay, let me go and water my plants. Have a wonderful time. Oh no, I should not have looked this game up. Devastation. Okay, well, I'm glad that we're all going to cry by the end of this. That's a good sign, right? That's a good sign. there. I've watered my plants for the day. Uh, am I going to be able to make any more cheese? I don't know. Oh, hey, buddy. How you doing? Hello. You're Laszlo, right? Hello again, my dear. I see new mushrooms have sprung up all around the desert out there. They're so cute, like tiny little helmets huddled together in platoons. If you ever pluck up a basketful, I offer a great price for them. A fun price for fungi. 
Oh, I already have some. Oh, you have a letter for me? Fantastic. Uh, oh, cool. So, I did get some of these. Uh, I do need hay. Oh, wow. I can buy all three of these hay just for these two, two things. Can I sell him one cheese and get seeds? Oh, I can get all these seeds. Uh, fuck it. Oh, no. Uh, okay. Well, let me get rid of one of these sunburst tomatoes. Marquez Gourd, two sunburst tomatoes, some hay. I can't get a chicken out of the deal, can I? No, I can't. Okay. That's a good deal. That's a good deal. Thank you very much, my friend Laszlo. I love his little music box sound, dude. What do we got today? From Amy Yuma Marigo. Sister dear, I've just had a lovely little adventure. On a white hot afternoon, I visited Midtown's newest market where, among dozens of stalls, I discovered jars of sweet sap from an albino heirloom tree in the Ashlands, which they say rises only once in a century in strips of pickled chewing leather for when my pet platypuses behave well. The best of all, the grand treasure, was the gold-flaked white cherry toffee I chanced upon, just like we had on our girls' trip to the city, to think how many boys followed us around then. If only you'd been here, Amma. No, I won't try again to convince you to move. Granny did say, abandon this farmland, it will all blow away. That woman spotted omens everywhere she looked. I only mean to say that today brought back memories, and I dearly miss my sister. Stay well, Amma. Love, Mimi. P.S. With the ladies of the Window Widow's Bridge Club raving about a charismatic young author, I've enclosed a copy of her newest novel, perfect for an afternoon read on Papa's chair, and another to Rama on Luna. After all, there is little to do on farms. <laughs> Castelline. Well, I got some extra, uh... What's it called? So that's good. Okay, so I have a book. A new book. I have a shotgun. <laughs> Is my is my uh, cheese done? My cheese is done. <laughs> Gotta make some cheese. Gotta be ready for the next day. Hello, Eddie. Welcome back. I know one of my goats still can be milked. This guy must be, yeah. Let's get some cheeps. <sighs> Dude, I'm so in love with this game. It's adorable, and it's beautiful, and it's sweet, and it is really, really, really cute, and it makes me very happy. Alright, nah, nah. We'll let the cheese prepare overnight, and we will retire for the evening. This game is on Steam as well. I don't know if it's available anywhere else at the moment. Eddie, thank you very much for the hydrate. Um, oh, I forgot to grab a... Frimo Castellin. Yep, that's the one. Castelline is a beautiful city. Castelline was the first in Gifrai to light its streets by candlelight in the evenings. Before the use of lamplight, great night candles lined the streets, and due to the windless nights, there was little risk of the flames extinguishing. In fact, it was common for the children to climb to nearby windows and try to blow out giant flames, much to their folly. Because of the size of the candles, Castelline's main streets were landmarked by great towers of solid wax. When they were big enough and firm enough, new wicks were simply driven into the great towers and lit again. The city was kept so clean and stood high enough on the Shine Plateau that the wax very rarely muddied, and since it rarely rained, the streets flowed with wax, giving Castelline the nickname, The City of Pale Wax. Oh, Nana, you should eat. I know it's late, but you should eat, Nana. Oh. Oh. 
Okay, well, I guess maybe you're really tired and you should go to bed instead. <sighs> Layla, thank you very much for the stretch. Perfect ah, timing. As Nana goes to bed and stretches her weary bones because I make her work too hard. I'm just a bad person. Oh, I'll be right back. I have food. And also I have a day to do. Hello, Nana. How are my plants doing? <clears throat> are these gourds ready yet? Oh. I didn't mean to pick up the uh, hoe. But that is okay. Let me go over here and drop it. How are the gourds doing? <clears throat> the gourds are ready! I need to get my basket. Can I still water these? Okay, I can't water them anymore. I do need to actually put them in the basket. Uh, I think my basket's in the house, right? Because it should be... Oh, no it's not. Where's my basket? Hello? Where did my basket go? Where did I put my basket? Where did I put my basket? Oh, I put my basket by the well. Hello, little chicken. Yes, you can pet the goats because they're adorable. All right, Nana, let's go get some gourds. Little Jimkin. Okay, now, now you need to eat something. Mm. Lovely. Oh, hello, my friend. Happy day. How is everything, Talma? Remember how lively it was in the old days when all us little monkeys were still here? Getting lost in the valley, worrying your parents sick. Why, they went positively ape on us. Ah, 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 ah. I remember how frustrated your father was when there wasn't a bucket either by the door or next to the well. Okay, <laughs> that's a very topical thing to say. Thank you very much for the letter. What can we do to trade? Zaga's Divination Basin. I feel like he's just scamming me with whatever these are. And I don't like it. Uh, how am I doing on hay? I think I've got like three things of hay. It couldn't hurt to have some more. Ooh, a potato seed. Um, oh, I wonder if I can eat the chickens or if the chickens lay eggs. 
I don't know. I don't think I can really sell any of this stuff, though. I could sell a gourd, but that's food that I need. What if I sell a chicken? How much stuff can I get for a chicken? Can I get one thing of hay for a chicken? Because the goats are what are making me food right now, so... I think that's what I'm going to have to do. Yeah. Sorry, whatever chicken I just sold, but... Thanks, I guess. <laughs> Garza Yuma. Dear Talma, somehow I have begun dreaming of goats. Do you remember Arca and Dio, the two whom you almost died rescuing upon the plains flooded? For a week now they've authored my nightmares. At night my cries startle Moira, my poor wife. The timing of it puzzles me. Papers are flying off the stands, the bullpen downstairs abounds with prodigious talent from floor to ceiling. Crystal clear glass surrounds my corner office, framing views of Midtown and the harbor both. And all my sons are fathers. Sister, I've never been so fortunate. Yet I am haunted. I was fond of those critters as a boy. What became of them? I assumed they fled as goats do when they see the gate opened. How odd they feel, trapped in their own home. I hope your nights are more restful than mine, Talma. Your brother, Garza. P.S. I know politics displeases you, but it seems Votabara, yes, impish little pot, will replace a soon-to-be scandalized candidate in this mayoral election, bringing ever closer his lifelong pipe dream. The same runt who slipped sand on our backs and could not tie his shoes until he was twelve. If he gets ten votes, I will not bathe for a week. Thistle seeds. Oh. Do I have to walk up to a chicken to get eggs? That is a great question. Also, let me get this boy so I can plant some more plants. Let me plant more plants. Uh, Elvish thistle seed. Do I have anything to plant here? Or am I out of seeds? Oh, I can... S I have a gourd seed. And a tomato seed. Oh, shit. It is late now. All right, Tanma. Don't worry. We'll, we'll get you to bed. My watering can is empty. Well, cool. There goes... The day. <laughs> Something is going wild. All right, Dalma. Let's go to bed. God, this game is so pretty. Burger is delicious. Thank you for asking. Uh, let me plant a tomato here. I already planted a, something there. Okay, that's the last of my seeds. Well, well, let me get my water and head down to the well. The, just the, the soft, beautiful music playing in the background. It's so tender and sweet. And it makes me want to cry. Okay, so I can't really click on the chickens. Oh, 
Oh wait, there's a shed over by- There's a chicken coop right here! Oh my god. You know, one of these days I'm going to have a brain cell. And it's gonna- and then it's all over for you guys, that's for sure. Nobody- nobody's gonna stand a chance. How much water can my watering can- No, oh, Tanma, please. How much water can my watering can carry? That's three. That's four. Five. Okay, so five uses. That is... Fair, I guess. We'll drop that there. So, I'm assuming I need my basket to get eggs. Yep, basket. Hello, chickens. Five eggs? There we go. Let's take those inside. Eli with a brain cell? Highly unlikely. Exactly. I got my eggs. It's Stardew for geriatrics. Oh my god. Hello, goat. She needs to eat. Okay, I don't know why that goat hasn't eaten. Oh, hello, Laszlo. I hope you are doing well. My dear, do I have news for you. The city of Elgos has found its new mayor. And it's not other than Cousin Vota. That handsome frog face is on every newspaper. From our leaders, we expect honesty. I better not see any flies coming out of his mouth. Thank you. We once spent every day out in the deserts. Yes, we did. I... Billy Goat. Oh yeah, he does have a goat with him. I'm sure it's expensive. <laughs> it's breeding season for the critters, so I brought this cheeky Billy Goat. You're welcome to borrow him. Uh, so I could make more goats. I think I'm okay with the goats I have. Shotgun shells? Excuse me? I will give you one cheese for five shotgun shells. A little uh, worried about that. From the desk of Votabara. To my oldest friend, you knew me as an unruly boy. Today I write to you as the man I was destined to become. On this precipice where I begin composing my great legacy, I weigh my defining moments. First, my father abandons his practice, his house, his life. He moves to the farm next to your families, where he imagines the aftertaste of his failures won't follow. Second, you, a girl of sixteen and eldest of a litter, reach out to a young stray resigned to solitude and misery, showing him there is light. Third, I move to the city to construct the intractable architecture of a career uncorrupted, to bridge and bind power with compassion. I run a path forty years long. My life moves only forward. The approaching autumn festival makes a thousand demands, from permits and procession plans to committees and cost. Yet I write to you, Talma, to reconnect with my roots. I regret how we've fallen out of touch. I hope you'll allow me this indulgence. Outside, an ancient man plays harmonica with all his soul. I could not ask for a more eloquent melody to accompany these sentiments. Yours sincerely, Vota. And he gave me some seeds. Well, isn't that fucking sweet? I have some cheese that's ready. Unless it's rotted, because it's probably been in there for like two days now. Nope, it's good. <clears throat> Alrighty then. Well, that's really sweet that he, that like, you know, they were both complaining about him and then it turns out that he's like, you know, really so Oh, okay. Do you guys want to eat? Will you not eat if I don't pet you? Hello, little goat. You're really cute and I like you and I wish you would eat because there's hay for you to eat. I guess it does worry me a little bit that you guys don't. You know. Okay, I watered my plants this morning. Cool. 
I did not eat today. I need to eat something. What do we want for dinner, Talma? Let's have an egg. And let's have this gourd. You deserve a little bit of a filling meal. Mmm. Mm. I hope it was good, Talma. You deserve it. Is her husband the one buried in the backyard? I don't know. I'm going to assume so. What? Is this a dream? I don't know what's happening. I can't like exit this. It's not just something I can. No, no. I don't like this. Oh. Hello, Satan. Can I help you? Bella, thank you so much for the subscription. 20 months. Oh my god. All righty then. That was a dream to have. Are you okay, Nana? Oh, there's like ruins around here that I can see. Okay. All right, Nana, let's get some water so we can water our plants. We need, uh... We also need to figure out what the hell that was about. That was, um, not good. Whatever that was. Was that the game's way of saying that I made a decision by not getting that goat? Or was that Satan? The world may never know. <laughs> 20 months. Are you tired of me yet? Not even a little bit. 
Oh, I did get another plant, but the thing is, is with how many plants I have, I may as well just hold on to what I've got at the moment. Man, the chicken eggs might have been like a fantastic resource that I have not been collecting. How many eggs? Five eggs. Okay, so I get a lot of eggs every day. Let me go put these inside. Alrighty then. Well, let's leave the basket kind of in the middle. Oh, I don't think I had. Yeah, I didn't get any. Oh, there's not a whole lot of hay left. She needs to eat first. Where'd the other one go? Did the other one actually run away? I can hear you. I can hear you. Where are you? Where are you, goat? Oh, there's Laszlo. Hello, Laszlo. Let me just go ahead and drop the milk bucket here. <clears throat> Say, Talma, my cousin Raveni has settled his caravan near the city. You can hear the jingle jangle of his trinkets for miles. Might they interest you? Each day I'll bring a mystical treasure I've handpicked from that old beaver. For you, my lady, only the best damn ones. Ah! 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 Uh. Can you pat the chickens? When I put my mouse over them, it didn't give a, a signal. It always gives a little, si like, icon. I took your advice about planning my daily chores. Having a routine has saved me quite some time. What can I buy? The Sultanate Skyweaver. Belonging to Saldane the Sultan, greatest of his time, the beautiful carpet soars with the speed of a hawk and with room for two. I guarantee you this is a scam. How many eggs? How many eggs are you gonna ask me for? Oh my god. Literally all of my food? I'm sorry, dude. I would love whatever this is, but I can't give you all of my stuff for that. Honestly, uh, what I need is hay. How many eggs for the hay? That's a lot of eggs for that hay. How many ch eggs can I take back? Cheese, okay, cheese is worth a lot of money. So I definitely need to keep feeding these goats, that's for sure. Well, let's read this letter. Amy Yuma Mariko. Sister dear, I've had such a fabulous night while attending a performance of La Dame du Verre at the Grand Wolfbeth Theater, no less. I was chosen to be the audience participant and I danced on stage with the young cast of the stunningly beautiful lead through two mesmerizing scenes. Um, uh, I was smitten. I began considering a dancing career, but Garza dissuaded me. We met yesterday for brunch at the Balsam Bistro, and should mention the area's decline in my esteem. The Ever Gardens never nearby usually appear so pristine, never so overgrown. Our brother looks well, if unrested. He obsesses over Pont's electoral win. I've never understood their rivalry, so I quoted to him from the play, Those who never leave the playground forever remain children. Then he spoke of Eleazar. The look of doting in his eyes was so lovely to see again, Amma. The same look you had after Rama was born. If Bren and I had raised children of our own, I'm sure I'd feel the same. I've had such a spring in my step since the play. What do you think, Amma? Shall I revive our child, our girlhood dance routines? Can you imagine? Oh. Amatha. Oh. All right, well. The day has... Okay, wait. Uh, I got my hair. No more eggs. Right, right, because I just got my eggs. I should get water, is what I should get. So that I can water my plants. That's not the water bucket. That's the water bucket. So that I'll be ready for tomorrow. God, it's so pretty. It is interesting, the aesthetic of, like, having to manage my time and resources. Um, and there's, like, actually quite a few little details to this between being able to grow crops, uh, having the chickens to raise, 
I mean, the goats uh, to, that I have to, one, feed, and two, uh, then go get their milk and make cheese with. It's interesting. It's very interesting. Okay, so I've got water ready for tomorrow. Um, I'm very worried about my goats. I kind of fucked up, didn't I? With the whole gate thing. Um, it appears as though a lot of my animals have decided they want to leave. Hello, little goat. Yeah, go back inside, please. I hope that was a laugh and not a cry. Otherwise, I'm going to cry myself. I wonder how long this game is. Yeah, I don't know. I'm very curious about how much there is to this game. I got rid of all my cheese, which is not so good. But we have some eggs. Let's have some eggs for dinner tonight. And by eggs, I mean a hamburger. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you liked it, Alma. Let's start the day off by getting myself some crops watered. <clears throat> are those birds? Yes, there are some birds. My little garden is growing. Yes, it is. Look at it. It's so cute. Have my goats eaten. Hello, goats. It's so peaceful. Yeah? You're having a good time, aren't you? I wonder if I put more milk in? I can... Because it has almost like a... Like, there's a maximum amount of milk I can put in there, but I yeah, put more than one, maybe? Question mark? I wonder if I can make more, or if I that just allows me to make more cheese at once. Which is what I would assume, but... You know. Let me put my bucket down in here. Oh, she just grabs the bucket. Anyways. Okay, where's my basket? So I can get some eggs. Is my basket inside? My basket is not inside. Where'd I put my basket? What? Okay, now it's right here. What the fuck? Okay. Hello, Laszlo. Talma, you will never guess who I spied meandering around the gypsy markets yesterday. Your sister, Amy. My, my, she has not changed a bit. She seemed very well. They say age comes for us all. How do you stay so sprightly, young lady? That is a lovely question to ask. Watch the wind, dear. If it turns, the wicked-looking clouds down the road will come, bringing rain. Uh, oh, I could buy some more chickens. Elvish thistle seeds. 
Uh, I, I always need more hay. See me. The throne of kings. And wood onion seeds. Yeah, I don't... Oh, I don't have enough anything to buy more hay, do I? Oh, I could spend some eggs. Okay, well, I need the hay. Garza. Dear Talma, a heaviness coils in my chest. It follows me into my dreams, stone-skinned, slithering between the goats. Since recently meeting with Amy over lunch, I'm shaken. I've pondered how, in our age, we aspire toward ideal health. Now I see that ideal is a shoreline receding. Yes, Bren's estate affords her lavish luxuries, a different assistant for this and that. Yet I never thought I would see her too with shrunken steps and a wooden cane, desperately concealing the growing burdens of age. I had to rage against Pot's victory to mask my distress. The autumn festival looms ever closer. Pot has invited the gypsies to join the parade at the eleventh hour, and the public clamors to hear more of a story already told. My news presses race to keep up with the foreign dignitaries, royalty, and celebrities all coming to see it. Meanwhile, Moira reminds me I've been neglecting our grandchildren. Yet all I can do is stare at Father's watch, its silvered hands finally still. Your brother, Garza. He sent me a shotgun shell in the mail. It's not a little worrying, is it? Let me get some eggs. How are we doing? Five more eggs. Uh, green sky. So yes, there should be a storm coming. What is the gun for? That's a great question that I really would like the game to answer. Because I'm a little worried. It's getting late. Yeah. Okay, I've already watered my plants for the day. I got my eggs. Everything good. Let's have dinner. A couple of eggs. And then we shall figure out our lives from here, I guess. All right, Nana. Okay, so I'm wondering if I can put, like, I could probably just put, uh, you know, like a flower in this vase. <sighs> Good night, Nana. Here's the storm. Oh, so I don't have to water my crops because of the, you know. Um, okay, hold on. I had some... Did I have some cheese ready? Yes. <clears throat> oh, did something happen? Oh, did the milk go bad in this? Ah, the milk went... Hello, goat. You ready? Look at the little droplets hitting the ground, the way the dirt gets wet. I love details like that. They're so fucking good. Can I milk more than one? I don't know if this is wasting the previous milk or not. And that bothers me. I don't know. 
I feel like I want to help her around the farm. Dude, I do too. I don't want her to be here. Oh, okay, cool. So yeah, I can make two things worth. And then it just takes a little longer to stir. Her whistling, dude. I'm enjoying the peacefulness of the game, but also I'm on edge. Yeah, I feel that completely. This is 100% the kind of game where you're like, yeah, something's gonna happen because... Hey, my friend. I'm gonna shut this gate. My dear, something. sometimes I wonder why my clan chose the Black Cliff Trail as our route. Just today, amidst this rain, a rock slide nearly sent me tumbling down to become a pancake. It's enough to leave me flummoxed and a bit hungry. Hmm. Now where can I get pancakes? That's a great question. Cheese runs low, I see. Yeah, unfortunately. Your boy's got a whole ass life. To live. Oh, I can buy so much hay, but I have to give up like all of my food. Which is okay in so much as I can go get some more eggs right now, and I've got cheese in the thing. Talma, it hurts to imagine how you'll react to this letter. I've rewritten it so many times, the words feel like a stranger's, but I've decided I can't keep running away. So I'm coming home. Lyria is no longer the place I once knew. I was just a girl when I came. I fell in love with a city where people defended each other and fought for what's right. Now all I hear are the riots. Everything here teaches me to feel numb against the violence. That scares me more than the rest of it. I've heard on Elgos radio about this year's autumn festival. For the first time, it sounds lovely. I should arrive in time for its last few days. Hopefully this unease won't follow me across the sea. I won't impose on you after leaving the way I did. Back then, Aunt Amy seemed almost as mad at me as I can imagine you are. So I'll call Uncle Garza. I'll stay with him until I can find a room of my own. I just thought, as my mother, you should know. Sola. Okay. You know, emotions, that's cool. Um, can this game stop being sad soon? At age 11, when Sola learned this was a dog kennel. Oh, I didn't get to read that. I'm sad. Oh. Oh, I don't know what that was. Okay. Hello, goat. Let me go pick some plants. What lovely cryptids lust flowers. I can't pick these, can I? What lovely elvish thistle flowers. Oh, do these just stay? Is my basket full or do those just stay? Those are the questions. All right, time for dinner. Let's have an egg and a gourd. Eddie, thank you very much for the hydrate. I'm glad you liked it, Talma. Do I ha I don't have any flowers to put in here. Yeah. Or at least I haven't picked any, I guess. Savan, thank you very much for the stretch. I do love these little sparkles. I wonder if they're supposed to be, like, kind of fireflies or something. I wonder. My food is good. Thank you for asking, Layla. Hello, Divine. Welcome. Oh. <laughs> 
I don't think that's how that was supposed to happen. Get some water. Time to water any plants that need to be watered and grow any that are ready to grow. Oh no, you goat. I see you're trying to head for the exit. You are staying here with me, my friend. So I can still water these flowers. That's very interesting. Um, I need my basket so I can get these. I think these are tomatoes. These are my tomatoes. Uh, are you talking about this stick, Layla? Oh, tons of tomatoes. So growing food is genuinely like a really good source of food. It's just that it takes time. Oh, that happy little squeal, dude. I wanna cry. Let's make some fucking cheese. <clears throat> Alrighty. We've got some cheese. I'm gonna leave my basket. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the little quick bank of uh, Rooney with the stuff there. Um, let me do some ground plotting. Oops. Pick that up. Thank you, Nana. Actually, hold on. Let's grow over here. And keep our flowers separate from our crops. Oops. Because I don't know how many plants I've got to grow. I don't like that it seems like it's harder for you to <sighs> crouch down than it was earlier. Also, wow, okay, the tomatoes, I didn't get another seed out of that. I didn't get an extra seed out of the tomatoes. That's not good. I wonder if I have to eat them first. Um, I don't know if... Oh, wait. I don't know if Laszlo came by today, did he? He didn't. Okay, I am too tired to work. That's okay. That is okay, Nana. Yeah, Laszlo didn't come by today. Uh, let's have egg and tomato. Just for you, Nana. Is he okay? I don't know. Mm. I'm glad you liked it, Nana. Was it? Just, I just have the two books right now. Oh no, I had another one that I didn't read. Amatha, the city of tomes, nestled on the blue sands of the Juniper Sea, is a city that has defied every intrusion of change for centuries. It was built by the ancients and is lived in by their defendant scholars who bend each day the corners of their being toward the predecessors with whom they are enamored. Okay, it's time for bed, Nana. <sighs> the owls, I know. I love the sound of them.
there are a lot fewer birds than there were before, that's for sure. Hello, Jimkins. Hello, goat. So I'm basically always guaranteed a little bit of food um, from my chickens, which is good. And technically, it's also, you know, currency because I can Google some thingies. Or not. <laughs> I looked at I looked at chat and somebody said Google and so I was immediately just like Google? Okay. Have you guys eaten? Can I milk you? Uh, can can I help you, Mr. Chicken? What the fuck? <laughs> okay, chicken. Really? It wasn't enough for cheese? Because the fucking chicken pushed me out of the way, that's why! Where's the other goat? I don't know where my other goat is. Laszlo! Hello. I was worried about you, my friend. You were gone for a whole day. Hey. Hello, my dear. Have you missed me? The Autumn Festival has taken over the city, and cousins of mine needed a hand with their jewelry stall. I applaud Voda for being the first mayor to involve the gypsy communities in the festival. In fact, his idea was unprecedented. Interesting little, little joke there. With this much hay, people would think you were raising horses. I mean, I don't have that much hay. I could definitely use more... Uh, <clears throat> Ooh, tomato seeds. Uh, let's get some onion seeds, too. Uh, and I wonder how much... Oh, man, cheese, dude. Cheese is the fucking bank. It's, you get so much money out of cheese. To Talma. I remember a clear summer night you walked me home from another day of the four of us together. Over the last hill carried on the desert's winds, we heard the voices of my father and stepmother screaming at each other. So you took my hand and led me away, back to the Yuma farm. It was after a harvest then. Gypsy caravans braved the treacherous Black Cliff Trail with the wisdom of their bloodline, migrating across the valley by lantern light. In the quiet dark, perched in the windmill behind your house, we watched them, drifting along like fireflies in a stream. The festival has taken its first breath, and it breathes with the magic of that night. Along the streets, gallant faces painted in colors without name, nomads dancing to rhythms older than the first word, costumed children with candy-skinned fingers and boundless wonder. All of this I alone designed. Your father once mused, we remember the price, but forget who pays. These small incidents around the city, the wolves I've had to befriend. Everything is worth this city's happiness, isn't it, Talma? In the hallway, the homeless man's songs grow shrill. I wonder what happened to the man to make the music change. Yours, Vota. Some seeds. Well, I've got some more seeds. I really need to get some water so that I can, you know, properly do them. I don't remember how many seeds exactly I had. seeds. Hello goat. Some tomato seeds. 
and some more tomato seeds. Okay, Talma, it's time for bed. Actually, it's time for dinner, and then it's time for bed. What should we eat for tonight, Talma? Uh, tomato and egg. That sounds actually really fucking good. Mm -hmm. Um... Fuck. I was not prepared! Dude, my heart was not ready for that. I don't- I don't want to have to shoot anything. I wanted the gun to just exist. It's a good thing I do have ammo. Oh my god. I looked over and immediately I was like, oh my god, did they kill all my chickens? No, I do still have my chickens. <gasps> and I hadn't realized that I actually had five of them because the one there is like the color of the ground. So I just never saw him. Bye, Savan. Thanks for hanging out with us. Drop off my eggs. Get some water. I really need to go get my cheese taken care of. Okay, gonna water my plants, get my cheese taken care of. Get my letter from Laszlo. got all of my plants taken care of. I mean, the one isn't, but that's okay. What matters is that we get the main, the actual crops taken care of. I already got my eggs. I am wasting time because I don't pay attention. You better start talking, pal. Thank goodness you're safe, Talma. I found wolf tracks nearby and worried. I fear they may return. Do be careful, my dear. You possess infinite gifts, but precision aiming never did number among them. Thanks, I guess. This lack of cheese is dairy, dairy depressing. Listen, Laszlo, my friend. I worry as well. I have a lot of eggs, though, so I can't worry too much. By your hay. Close my gate as well so this fucking goat doesn't run away. <laughs> Sola Yuma, my daughter. Talma, I hope this finds you safe. The valley is so secluded I can believe the farm is untouched by whatever happened here. I came on the ferry this morning, crossing a fog at sea as thick as gelatin. I could barely breathe. 
When we reached port, the dock was empty. Somewhere between my cabin and solid ground, the ship had emptied too. I walked around the harbor district all day. I checked every shop and cafe, every corner and street. It's like they're right here. I feel the breeze of their passing, but everywhere I look I can't find a single person in this city. I'll spend tonight in the old Langford. It's freezing outside. I don't want to wait for the snow. If I've done anything good in my life, someone will find this letter in the post box and deliver it. Please be alright. I have so much to say. Sola. Oh. That's frightening. I don't know how to feel about that. I'm a little worried that, uh... Something's already happened to the city. I just got a letter the other day, though. So unless it's a different town that they're talking about... I don't really know... What's going on? Alright, beautiful goat. Thank you for your milk. Hey, the other goat got outside? Are you fucking kidding me? How'd they do that? I closed the gate? It must have been while I was getting my water. Alright, Tama, let's pour the water. Let's pour the milk. Let's oh I have enough now for two. Perfect. Let's do that thing where we spin real fast. Get that done. And then we go back inside. One of the goats is outside and it worries me. It worries me as well because I feel like that's enough that he's going to get lost. The damage fence in back. Oh, is the fence damaged? Tomato and egg. I didn't realize the, fa the fence was damaged. Mmm. Mm. All right, Tama. Let's uh, let's hit the hay. I didn't hear a wolf, so I'm just gonna assume that everything's okay. What are you, a mule, or what is you? What? I'm an old lady. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm an old lady on a farm. Okay, my goats are okay. They're both in here. Oh, that fence looks fine. Yeah, all my fences look like they're okay, unless it was a different fence that I couldn't see. It is a very pretty game, that's for sure. I wish she had a mule that she could use to carry heavy stuff. That would be nice. Give Talma a break. Goat, can you stop trying to get outside? I have enough trouble as it is without having to worry about you. Hold on one second. Wow, those are some pretty flowers. Where's my basket? There it is. Go get my eggs for the day. Ooh, my goats are getting a little low on... No, they're not getting that low. They just keep eating the big bales and leaving halves. How you doing on food? Oh, love you, buddy. Can we put those flowers in the vase? Let me see if I can get any of these. All she does is she walks up and she says, those are pretty flowers. What lovely cryptids lust flowers. 
What lovely mountain crown flowers. Hey, it doesn't seem like I can really. <laughs> oh, the laugh. The happy laugh. I want to cry. I want to cry. Oh, Laszlo's here. <clears throat> Hello, my friend. Hello, my friend. I hope you're doing well. Good day, fair lady. Say I heard down the zero gravity grapevine that the colonies on Luna are thriving. I'm so proud of Rama, you no doubt must be over the moon about it. Something like that. Thank you. Cheese runs low, I see. It sure does. Where's the lady's head? She's wearing a, a head scarf. Tomato seeds, carrot seeds. I think I'm actually not going to buy anything for today. I might buy a lantern salvaged from the wreck of a galleon. It said the legendary pirate Barbosa hid his soul in it just before death. Well, now that is interesting. How much can I give you for it? Well, I don't want to give the goat. I cannot afford it with just food. Okay, well, I don't want it then. Thank you, my friend. But unfortunately, uh, you know, I got other important things. Amy, you my marigold. Dearest sister, my ritual today began at dawn. I had breakfast tea while soaking in a bath anointed with my finest fragrance as two of the girls fashioned curls and braids into my hair. Then in a rose ruby gown, a shocking color for the season, mind you, and a long filigree skirt marbled with Cecilia's finest golden violet thread, I stepped out into the vestibule's maiden day. Such curiosities, Amma, you must come see them. Bracelet beads as soft as grapes squeeze for light and scent, and wooden figurines are parrot only in foreign tongues, and straw-thin stalks of candy so sour the corners of your mouth ache. The aromas straight from our history, garlic, lemon, coconut milk stew, and corn-stuffed peppers doused in olive oil, coriander, and blue sage, and a thousand others. Every time I turn, the clock towers chime, spirit away another hour, slipping the moments by like held sand. My goodness, I'm beginning to write like Gaza now. Supposedly some people collapse of exhaustion, oblivious to time, but this revelry only gives me life. I haven't felt this in so long, Amma. I want to feel this always. Love, Mimi. Taltatha. I wonder what that is. Sounds lovely. All right, Tom, uh, let's go ahead and make some cheese. Sorry to put you to work so late at night, but, uh, well, we do need the food. And, you know, the money. Cheese is our most profitable uh, endeavor. All right. Now it's time for us to go have ourselves a nice nap. Yeah, it's quiet enough here. Time for dinner. Let's do some egg and tomato. Just for you, Tom. Just for you. Well, I don't hear the wolves, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. I do not like this. I don't like this at all.
I am not okay with what's happening. <clears throat> Why is Nana having these dreams? Why can't she just be okay? That would be cool. Can we stop fucking with Nana? That'd be cool. Okay, so we're getting a little low on hay. Oh, JC, don't cry. It was just a dream. Nana's okay. Okay, uh, let's get the fucking cheese. Uh, I need, I need some milk. Oh, so my chickens can just wander in and out. It's the goats that I need to, like, purposefully keep inside. other goat as well so we can get two whole cheeses out of this oh I'm sorry oh this fence oh yeah that is kind of worn down uh, there's no indication that like yeah it won't let me get over it there's no indication that it's necessarily a problem, so I'm just going to assume it's fine. Oh, I got three worth. All right, Nana. Rocket spin! <laughs> Rocket spin for the cheese! You're a fucking champion, Nana. A fucking champion. Lazlo's not here yet, so let's go get water. Uh, okay, so none of these plants is ready to be picked. Okay, okay. I have a feeling Lazlo might not be coming today. I hate that every time I open the damn gate, the goats are like, We're leaving? It's time to go? Run for your fucking lives? No, motherfucker. Was that a child? I swear I just heard a child. I swear to God I just heard a child. Oh, no, pick up the water, please, no, no. Okay, so I'm not crazy, good. Alright, well, Lazlo didn't show up today. That's not great. <clears throat> what are we having for dinner? Egg and tomato. Are we hearing things now? I mean, we are a lonely old woman in the middle of nowhere who had kids at one point, so... <laughs> I believe it.
I'm like scared to go to bed right away because I don't know if the, you know, fucking wolves are going to come late and I have to wait a little bit to make sure they're not going to come. Huh. I don't know how the game works entirely. All I know is what I've seen. I don't like not knowing stuff. All right, at least there's no dream tonight. Is this a scary game? This game is a mixture of a cozy game and like an emotionally tense game because there's a lot going on, but also we don't really do a whole lot. We're an old lady just managing a farm, but there's some things going on in the wider world that we just get sort of notes and dreams about. For the most part, it's really cozy, yeah. It's the wider, it's the wider picture that, that is, uh, sort of a lot to deal with. Okay, so, these, are these not ready to grab yet? Or what's going on here? Still growing, okay. They're just, like, mostly grown, I guess. So I'm definitely going to need... Can I get any milk from you? Okay, I can get some milk today. Ooh, I really need some hay. My goats are on their last bits of that, of that hay there. All right, now, now let's make some cheese. Because cheese is great. And it is good for us. Ooh, I hear Laszlo's tinkles. I'm on my way. I promise, Laszlo, don't leave. No, don't leave, Laszlo. I'm coming. Hello. Hey. The house and the windmill and the emptiness gives me cowards, courage the cowardly dogs vibes. It really does. My dear, Garza shared some wonderful news. Ah, uh, but I would not dream of robbing a newsman of breaking the story in his letter. I will merely say it warms my heart when families come together like flies and flypaper. Thank you, my friend. We once spent every day out in the desert, yeah. Okay, how much hay can I get? I need some fucking hay. Okay. Holy shit, I can get so much hay. Oh, I should get an extra chicken. Oh my god, I can get so much stuff with cheese, dude. Cheese. It's worth so much! Carrot seeds. Okay, we'll put one carrot seed back. Look at that. Look at how much stuff I can buy with just a little bit of cheese. That's wild. God is Ayuma. Dear Talma, amidst dark clouds, today etches a silver lining. Your daughter Sola has come home at last. After some misunderstanding expelled her from the old Langford, she came to my building and asked for me at the bullpen cubicle I inhabited thirty years ago. My niece, alone in the city, remembered the day she visited me at my post at the Owl. Regrettably, these days are ill-omened. How the city changed after the festival, Talma, as if an imitation wears its warm skin. Stories of people vanishing during the festivities churns chaos in my newsroom. A baby supposedly turned into air in his mother's arms, and where is his unroyal highness pot? It seems he still cannot tie his shoes. When we sat together, Sola spoke of arriving here to find an abandoned city, hollow and cold, drowned in a sea of voices. I cannot explain the story, yet I felt chills. The world's deepest sorrow is coming home to find no one waiting. Why did she not call? Rest assured, Sola is safely at home with Moira. I've sent word for Amy to join them for tea. I last saw our sister some time ago, utterly enamored with this festival. Your brother... Garza. Oh! I have 
a lot of feelings and none of them are good. Did my book just spin? Oh, I got a new book. I remember that. Taltatha. Taltatha was a city of violent curves and a city of geometric parliament. The greater the footfall, the more the city curved, all to meet the needs of the pilgrims, the people, the travelers, the weary, the needy. Soon Taltaltha became a place to rest, just a nest, for bellies filled with infinite jest. Taltaltha spoke to the visitors in a different tongue, younger than the natives who buried themselves in silence, in pictures, in interpretations. A once great town to visit became for gothic towers telling their stories to the heavens like nothing you've heard. Impossible feelings sold for a dime. Oh. Well, it's time for dinner. We're running out of tomatoes. I'm just going to be eating eggs here pretty soon. Man. I'm just thinking about the fact that I ate, like, multiple cheese wheels since the beginning of the game. And that's, like, so much money that I wasted. <laughs> Instead of just eating eggs and tomatoes. I also could get some carrots. Should definitely get some carrots. Poor lady, always eating the sand stuff. Alrighty. Let's go get some water so we can water our plants. Oh, always eating the same stuff, not the sand stuff. <laughs> Uh, hello. What are you doing out here? I found one that looks like a horsey. It's really pretty green eyes. Lala would like him. Show it to her when it's her turn, okay, Mama? And to Papa, too, please? What the fuck am I supposed to do with that emotionally? Ha! You know, guys, I may seem like a rock of, of toxic masculinity, um, but I do have some emotions. <laughs> okay? <laughs> this game is going to do things to my soul. <laughs> I'm going to cry. Uh-oh, my plants are kind of dying over here. My flowers. It's dead. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, that sucks. Can I get these out of here? It's dead. Okay, but can I get these out of here? Or do I need... Do I need, uh... Okay, that's how I can get them out of there. Laszlo, my friend that has the letters. Mm. Hello, my dear. Does it not seem like the sun rushes by these days? Your brother Garza found me this morning with a pale face. He put a letter in my hands. I've not seen him like that since Vota won the election. I hope everything's all right. I hope so as well. That would be good 
to know. Um, can I buy a chicken? <sighs> if I put some eggs in there to sweeten the deal, I can get another chicken. Hell yeah. Thank you, my friend. All right, now, now let's read this letter. Garza Yuma. Oh, from his home address instead of his work. Talma, Amy is missing. Her apartment sits empty and immaculate. Her bed crisply made, her closets full, her pantry stocked, waiting as if she just stepped outside. Sola scours the city. As soon as she heard, she rushed off like a hurricane. She returned only briefly two days later, for a few hours of sleep and a bowl of soup. The disappeared have begun returning, and some are found merely confused and disoriented by their absence. There is hope, Talma. Not many suffer much worse. Amy will come back to us. I know it. Midtown lies desolated. I sit at home. Moira stays in bed. My sons and I tell the little ones it's a school holiday, and we play games of chase you and I once played at the on the farm. I visited City Hall yesterday with hopes that Pot can help us, only to find it abandoned. I know I must do more, but today I cannot bring myself to leave the children. Forgive me, Talma. I feel glad you are far from all this. Your brother, Garza. The fuck? Okay. Why? Is there a floating cat? What? Okay. Did I get eggs today? I don't remember if I got my eggs today. I did not get my eggs today. This makes it sound like a war started in the city. Yeah, like, I don't know what happened. Like, people just disappeared? You know what? Have a big hearty meal. You deserve it, Nana. No, no. What the fuck? Those are all my books, right? Yeah. Dude, what the fuck? Oh, fuck off with the telephone. <clears throat> Hold on, let me get my goddamn eggs. Oh, I've got like a little shelf. I just like stored the fuck... What? What? Do I have a telephone? I don't have a telephone. Is there a pay phone? Oh, is there like a pay phone out in the fucking... Hold on. Let me get my plants. Oh, these are both flowers. Shit. I need to just let my flowers... Probably... Die. Honestly, I have a ton of actual seeds of, you know, crops. Where the hell is that coming from? Why is that a thing? Leave me alone. I need- oh, I need to milk my goats! I don't have time for your shenanigans! What 
the fuck? Wait, the phone call... Is it coming from this? What the fuck? I think it's coming from fucking this thing. Or is it coming from in here? I don't know. Did, did, what? How about no? Have you thought about that? Have you thought about no? One of my fucking goats got out? You fucking god shit ass. Why? And how? My gate's closed. I think I'm just losing my mind. I think that's all it is. I have water. I should bring my water over to... Oh, no, he didn't get out. He's just hanging out over here. God damn it. I hear you, you bastard. Don't worry. Don't worry, I've got a I got a stick you can play with. Where are you? You fuck. Yeah, I got a stick. He just walked through my fence. Also, he didn't die when I shot him. I'm gonna cry. Just an old lady having a day of it. Mm. Shooting some fucking wolves. Going, going fucking canting it to the side like a gangster and pumping a shotgun into him and then going to bed with some eggs and tomatoes god damn it well there goes some of my cheese production maybe I guess now I will need that fucking goat so that I can get more goat Ay the rabalama. What the fuck, dude? Even then, I knew I should have given in. She would have been so happy. What? Four eggs. Are the other two chickens dead, or are they just not producing? What the fuck?
I'm not doing well. Things are fucking happening. Okay, you just drop it on the ground. I can't, like, put it away. Okay. Okay, so there's, those flowers are, are alive. They're alive. They're not doing great, but they're alive. And that's what matters. <clears throat> Okay. Plant some tomatoes. Because the tomatoes give me some decent food. It just takes fucking forever. Carrots. I think I have some onions. Yeah, onions. Get my... Oh, no, get my water, please. Thank you. Water the tomatoes. And water the carrot. Yeah, Laszlo, I just had a fucking night, dude. I need I need my life to come together here. Did you already fuck off? You were here for five seconds, bro. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Eh. Sola Yuma. Talma, we're still looking for her. I'm sorry. I've been looking as fast as I can. Elgos has turned inside out. After the blackout, you people started leaving talking, the city pal. west to Acelia. The chaos has made it a nightmare to go anywhere. These long nights leave so little daylight. After Uncle Garza sent his family west, he called on a few newsboys loyal to him and found me scouring the district blind. It was his idea to look in places meaningful to Aunt Amy. He had noticed that from the stories they ca that came to the Owl. She used to talk so much about her life with Bren, where they met, the parks and cafes they frequented, where they became engaged, so we've been following a carousel of her memories. I don't know a worse feeling. I think about the places familiar to me, the dingy flat in South Town, Star Hill General, and the other clinics where I worked. I'm glad to be rid of them. The only place that means anything to me is far away from the city. I've started losing pieces of my day. The memory of it, the intent. But I swear I'll find Aunt Amy. She has no one but us. Sola. <sighs> Her daughter calls her by her first name. Uh, yes. Um, they have a very stressed relationship. Um, and the daughter, like, ran away or just left angrily a long time ago. Um, so, yeah, that, that happens sometimes when people have, uh, bad relationships with their parents or other family members. But for now, it's time for bed. Nana Talma, it's time for you to get some sleep. Bon nuit. I hope the wolf stays away. I hope so too. Um, I lost the fucking goat and uh, I didn't really seem to have much I could do about it. Seeing as how I, uh, you know, shot the the wolf, and it didn't matter. <laughs> uh, that's kind of a, a big problem, you know. I'm not super happy about that. Also, where the fuck are the rest of my chicken? Are they dead? Are they sleeping? Did they run off into the wilderness? I don't know. Three eggs. Why am I only three eggs? I'm going to cry. Have I mentioned that? I'm going to cry? I feel like I've mentioned that. I'm going to cry. Um, but it doesn't seem to be coming across. I'm going to cry. 
there is so much A now. And the only, you know, animal I have is not going to be able to eat to it fast enough. <laughs> She needs to eat for. Uh, will eat? Go eat. Put some food in you, my friend. <laughs> I need your cheese. Your cheese is like uh, very important. Uh, I also need water. Je voudrais zéro. Laszlo. Please, um, don't run away from me like you did yesterday. That would be nice. I uh, kind of need, you know, <laughs> stuff. Good afternoon, my dear. Say, Talma, when did the birds go away? I don't know, but I did mention that earlier that there are no fucking birds anymore. Okay, what can I buy? More chicken because somehow I lost my chickens, I guess. Potato. I have plenty of A. Gourd. Sunburst tomato, gray potato. Um, I'm going to buy oh, a tomato seed and shotgun cells and another chicken. Thank you, Laszlo. Take care of yourself. Also, there is a weird thing that they show, another uh, they show that they do. The former desk of the former office of the former mayor of the former city we once called Elgos. Oh. Dearest Talma, try crack in the door as thin as word, half the width of an atom, I see an apparition of jealous Garza standing outside my office, flanked by two goats. I would call out his name, but I fear what would answer. From the window I see my reflection pacing before the bookshelf through a watery ripple in the air. I move so as not to cross his path. I am locked in a dance with this mysterious stranger who wears my face. I study him. I study him carefully so as not to see through him and into the city beyond that tears into its unbuilt past and its crumbling future. Into fires frozen and ancient winter, into steel and into sand. I've aged decades since I began this letter and I've been inside this sentence for a year. I fear the wick of my life burning out. When I signed this letter with only name I have ever cared for, the story I have been writing since the day I was born will end. The reverie was the prize for the desert's rejoining. I hope she finds it. Thank you, Talma, for everything. With all my heart. But... Beast! Qu'est-ce que c'est? Songs of the darkness bright, hills inside the mountain, lakes around the hills. La Luna sing her summer song through the darkness and the chills of a darkened looming valley covered completely in stone, made of starlight of the most fair and beautiful colors ever grown. <sighs> what? I... I don't understand. And it's not like I can do anything. I'm an old lady in the middle of nowhere. All I can do is read the notes and cry. All I can do is read the notes and cry.
Bonjour, you despicable morning. Good night, Bella. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Let me get my eggs. Only three? Did my chi did the fucking chicken I just bought yesterday disappear? Uh, okay, so this flower is dead. I need water. <laughs> oh, my fucking bucket is outside the wind. The what the hell? Okay. Well, I have watered my plants. Is this dead or is it just... Uh, is dead, okay. Well done. Let's waste the, this water on this flower. Just so we can be done with it. Hello, good. Are you ready to be milk for the day? So I can get some shits? It rem <laughs> you like the patchwork look of the, the roof? I think it's very cool. All of the aesthetic in this game is, is very well designed. Even so much as like the shadows. Laszlo, you did not stop by today and I don't appreciate that. I would like it if you would make a point to always be here every day because I don't want to be alone with myself. I will cry. I may be the super grandma, but I will cry. Listen here, wolves. I have a gun. And I'm not afraid to use it. Is it me or are the days going by faster? It they could be. Um, you know, I wonder if the uh, you know vo the you better start talking, pal. The how you say um, season is changing. <sighs> I wouldn't be surprised if the seasons could change. Oh, it's very... I can't tell if that's <clears throat> a, like a dust storm or if those are clouds. It is so... like frighteningly quiet sometimes now in this game. Yeah, they seem like clouds. No more eggs to collect. What happened to my fucking chickens, dude? What happened to my chickens? Are they dead? Uh, where are my chickens? I never had to feed them. You know what I wonder? If because the fucking birds are all gone, whatever it is happened to the chickens too?
Oh, I'm coming, Laszlo. Don't worry. It might be someone else's dinner by now. You know, I wouldn't put it past this game. Hello, my friend, Laszlo. Talma, dear, I found a letter in the gypsy markets in the outskirts of town. It seems quite old. I often find myself thinking of the golden days the five of us played together. Every day is brighter when we hold our heads up high. So chin up, my lady. Only one goat, of course, to prevent conspiracies. <laughs> how much, how much, how much do you need for this? This is super expensive. Literally all of my food to be able to get another goat? No, dude, I can't do that. That's insane. I'd have to give up all of my food, dude. I can't do that. I can survive with, with just the one cheese per day. Ama, my lovely sister, the festival goes on and on. Each morning a new dress. Each day a new market of treasures. Each night a new stage on which to dance, and I've never been more happy. The city is an orchard in which my memories ripen into fruit. Down the streets from invisible branches I pick glassy cherries, plums, and peaches. Each one bursting with sweetness, each one peeling away the melancholy. Each day a new treasure, a new dress, and stage. The trinkets, um, I've been crying and crying since I realized. It was Papa who used to buy anything the merchants peddled, wasn't it? A stone that walks on water, the sword of a southern Raja with a golden touch. A table on which the laws of nature were written. Remember? I never knew. I never knew. I feel so happy, Amma. Each day a new dress, a new treasure, a new stage. I want to feel this way always. 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 Mega Hydropolis. I didn't even have time to fucking go get water. And again, I don't know, like, the, you know, how much I can stay up at night. I don't know the things, dude. So quiet. Another storm. I keep like looking. Oh, yeah, I don't have any fucking chickens left. He still, he still has to eat. Uh, uh, well, I do need to water my crops because otherwise they're going to die. What is this melancholy music now? Dude, I'm not okay. What the fuck? You're fucking me. Oh no. Oh no. Pretty sure I already used my cheese, right? Or is there still some? There is still. There's still a little bit left. Uh. Oh my god, dude! Uh. 
Are you eating like you're going to let me milk you soon, or are you eating all day? What's the plan here, my friend? Are you good? You're good, okay. I'm sorry. Oh my god. What the fuck, dude? Wait, can I get more than one out of you? No, okay, that makes sense, but it's giving me the icon. <laughs> what the fuck? I also hate that I don't have a light in here, so I feel bad for sending her in here right before night starts, you know? Listen, you fuck. Fuck off! Hey, hey, hey! What the fuck is this sound? <gasps> no! He just came out of nowhere, what the fuck? <sighs> no, no, no. Dude, this is the worst. I don't have any chickens. I now have zero goats, so all I can do... All I can do is... Fucking... Farm now. Did I mention I want to cry? <laughs> what the hell, dude? Nana doesn't deserve this. Also, for a second, I thought the fucking wolf was going to attack me. And I was spooked. Dude. Please. I literally don't have anything to do besides go like maybe fill my water if the well isn't completely dry now because of the wind, the rain. My soul, dude. My soul. The well is dry. Cool. Cool. This is great. This is, this is great, dude.
Hi, Laszlo. I'm afraid I have little to offer you today, fair lady. Do you remember, Talma, that time in the rain? Sorry, best we avoid catching a cold standing out here. <laughs> There's no reason to buy any fucking hay. I don't have any goats! From Garza. We found her, Talma. She had returned to her apartment where she danced alone with an agility her bones forbade. Twisting. Cracking. We settled her down on her bed. A smile sketched on her parched lips. At times, shedding the decades of her being. We turned away for a minute. And then we saw her. She lay there with open eyes, unblinking and naked. Her skin wriggling with a million silverfish, blistered as if it had sat in salt for months. She was gone. I'm so sorry, Talma. After that, I knew. My wife, my sons, Elazar, and the girls. I must follow them west. I must be with them. In these hours, what could matter more? I love you, Talma. I could not have asked for a kinder big sister. Sola heads for the farm, with nothing but a package from City Hall. She seems so sure she'll reach you. I want desperately to believe her. It's been so long since I slept. These words I write under the stairs of Arca and Dio who have crossed into the daylight of my waking. As a boy hiding in the goat house to pen lyrical fantasies, I once swore to them I would become a poet. But I abandoned the dream to pursue the respectability of a man who peddles news. They forgave me, Talma, and now the goats accompany me westward, smiling with parched lips. Your brother, Garza. Have a big old fucking omelet, my lady. We're gonna have a big old fucking omelet, and we are gonna be okay. Mm. <sighs> oh my god, dude. I was not emotionally prepared. I was not emotionally prepared. Oh my god, the rainstorm sounded really good. Hmm. Yeah, this is what I was expecting. Nana? I didn't know you could moonwalk. That's really cool. Oh, hello, goat. Hello, more goats. Dude, this is, like, utter nightmare. Oh my god, there's so many goats. Dude, Satan, you're busy, dude. This is so unsettling. Oh, there are a lot of graves. Oh, fuck.
I'm sorry. I thought this was going to be a nice game. I just wanted a cute little farming game with some nice stuff. But no. No. I'm not allowed to have any of that. Only nightmares here. Jesus. Hello, Journey Master. This is indeed a heart-wrenching game. Oh my god. I'm like... I'm really sad. <laughs> I'm really sad. I'm pretty sure that was my only plant, right? I don't have any more seeds. Yeah, I don't have any more seeds. Cool. What the fuck? You're not allowed to pick games anymore. <laughs> Listen, uh, I just want to share things with you guys. I'm sorry that unfortunately I'm bad at picking what gets to be shared. Well, there wasn't water in the well earlier. I'm, it's worth checking again, I guess, since I have literally nothing else to do. But, oh my god. Oh, okay, hello. Uh. Uh, it's getting very green. Are we going to have a tornado? Oh my god. Okay, yeah, it's still dry. Oh my god, I can't even see my fence. Okay. It looks like there's not going to be any Laszlo. <sighs> oh! My power is out! Dude, this lady does not deserve this. She seems like just a sweet old lady. I don't deserve this. I'm a good person. Still stormy as fuck. Okay. How my crops doing? Okay, they are just hanging in there. That's how they're doing. Okay, is that okay? I don't know if that's dead or not. And what does this teach you? Everyone and everything dies. Uh, yeah, sure seems that way. Oh, all of my hay has rotted, I guess. Hello, Maria. Welcome to Field Town. This is where we have all of the fields. Nothing. Dude. Oh, Luna. Dude, oh my god. There's nothing for me to do. 
My footprints are disappearing. There's nothing for me to do. I can't get any water. My fucking goats and chickens are all dead. Laszlo is gone, I guess. It's sad out here. I feel pain here that doesn't belong to me. I see a face, but it keeps fading away. When this goat house crumbles, who will be the next to rebuild it? Ha! I don't... I don't want to be here anymore. I don't want to be here anymore. I don't want to be the one doing this to this old lady. There's no more firewood to burn. Is there a fire? Are those embers? <coughs> no. All of my crops are gone. I'm still waiting for my daughter too, dude. <laughs> Laszlo. My dearest Talma, we have stood here like this so many times before, in the darkness, in the light, for years and years since we were young. Before I go to where my brothers and sisters are waiting for me, I wanted to say this to you. I know I may just seem like an old fool to you, a familiar face in the midst of the day today, but for the miles I walk and the hours I fill between the city and you and you and beyond, I've never once regretted walking this road. History is history, I suppose. It's silly to dig up the earth when an avalanche is bearing down the mountain, but I just wanted to tell you, Talma, my dearest Talma, whatever happens, I will always want to know how fares my lady of the manor on this snail of a day. <coughs> Mama, looks like rain, silent as it hits soil, falling in strings of white. I call out and walk past my own voice. I lay my hand in a stream. The water won't break. My mind adrift on a river. I see. Uncle Garza weeps and weeps. Aunt Amy, a smile she'll never lose, never lose again. 
Uncle Pot waits for Yuma to open. Inside is nothing for those who aren't lost, we who are just waiting. Laszlo remembering, you, Talma, reading this in the shadow of a farm, me in a cave in this black cliff, and her too, far away, happy, safe. Mama, your voice looked like rain, silent as it reached to me, falling in strings of love. I felt only you and me, you and me in the world. But I could never be enough, one half of a broken whole. Mama, I want to come home. Oh my god. Is this nuclear winter? Dude, what the fuck?
Oh. Okay. Oh, and the program literally just closes as well. Dude. 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 <sighs> I fucking what? Hmm. You know what I mean? You know what I mean by that? JC, thank you very much for the hydrate. Wow. I, uh... Yeah. Holy shit. Um... That was... Incredible. Um... That was one of the like most depressing and grossing games I've ever played where like it's just really sad but also it keeps you wanting to go because you just have to know what's happening and yet still they leave you with so many unanswered questions that you just never really will know which is incredible um the only thing I can think of at this point is that, you know, there was some horrible thing, of course, going on in the city that they didn't really, you you, you don't really know. Um, and it's interesting how they had the whole description of the fact that there's like already space travel where they uh, are like colonizing, I guess, other planets. Um and yet there's still, you know, people that have such simple lives um, as, you know, Nana Talma here just living by herself on this little farm, raising goats and, and growing crops in the dirt. And uh, just holy shit, you know, um, incredible. One of the saddest games I've ever played. <laughs> Oh my god. And uh like what do you what do you do with that? You know, you just have to live with that story for the rest of your life now. And I shall as well. Uh, she died trying to reach her husband's grave. Yes. She uh wow. She really lived a full life, and I don't know what to do with that. And the only thing I can think of is because of the, the like, big dust storm full of red and what seemed like embers, and then the immediate day afterwards being what looks like snow, but it couldn't possibly just immediately be winter with that much snow. The only thing I can think of is that that's, you know ash and fallout and uh then she dies holy shit i have so many feelings hello vertical <laughs> i'm glad to see you i'm hope you had yourself a good day and yes uh if you do go back and watch this vod you probably will cry yourself to sleep this is a very sad game oh my god i'm so glad that i played it and so sorry that i made you guys watch <laughs>